This is Harry Judd for Box and Social. We're in hired at the Ricky Hatton and Marco Antonio Pereira open workout. I'm delighted to be joined by Campbell Hatton. Campbell, you know, terrific, terrific finish of your last fight. Just talk me through that body shot. Was it really a fluke, mate? Yeah, it might have been a bit of a fluke. No, we'd been saying it all week, how we wanted to take our time and think about things a lot more. And I think like we weren't getting ahead of ourselves with the opponent. The challenges are going to get a lot harder than that. But um, I think if it had gone in there, the old uh, in the old way where I was focusing on volume a little bit too much, I, I probably would have still stopped him. But it'd have been quite a scrappy finish, and um, it wouldn't have had people talking like it has been doing. So. I'm happy with how I went in there, took me time and took me took me time and picked a, a nice shot to finish on, which like, I think Matchroom uh, sent, sent me a message saying it's done a million views on on TikTok or something, and that's just because I, I thought about the shot instead of just going for goal and, and letting things get scrappy. So that's what we said we wanted uh, all week, and just glad I went in there and did it. Yeah, I mean, you've got a good mix of, you know, sort of your small shows and obviously the big shows, Bivol Ramirez. Just talk me through that experience of that, you know, what a high calibre show that was for you to be on again, Campbell. Yeah, it was a great experience for me. I think, like, seeing how the top level boxing's going now, where you see more and more shows over there, like we saw AJ Usyk 2 was in Saudi and... Not even just boxing, it just in in world level sport. We got the World Cup out in in Qatar, so for me to get experience boxing out in the Middle East now, I think it, if things go how we we'd like to think they will in the future, and I'll be out there again one day. So it's uh, it's good to get get the rounds under my belt out there now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see you out again before the end of the year. But what can we tell or what can you tell me about your 2023 plans, Campbell? Yeah, so we we tried put putting a bit of pressure on Matchroom. Hopefully, try and get out again this year, but not heard anything yet, and it's probably probably pushing it a little bit. Just picking this back up, Campbell. You were um, meant to be used part of Sky Sports live broadcast, but I don't think they use you at all, there, mate. No, it's like an extra one. <laughs> but no, it's um, no, it's good to see Marco, uh, legend of the sport. And I won't say it to my dad too much this week, but yeah, he's one of, one of my favourites, Marco. Look, this is huge event. You can see um, by the turnout here at the gym, this media workout now, the amount of anticipation from national print and national broadcast and obviously us YouTube uh, channels that are wanting to be a part of this huge event for, for Ricky yourself. It's just huge this week, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive and I think they're probably two of the most popular popular fighters there's been. So uh, it was always, always was going to be a big one and I think... With both my dad and Marco, you know you're getting exciting sort of fights like, like, like we say, they're like the Mexican sort of style. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, it's, it's always always going to make uh, for an entertaining fight, and just really excited myself. So I'm like, what are you anticipating with Saturday night? I mean, it is an exhibition. It is eight rounds. I mean, you know, are you expecting to be just rolling back the years, like the old Ricky? What are you expecting Saturday? Yeah, a little bit. Like where obviously it's an exhibition, so they're not going to try taking each, taking each other's head off too much. But I know how, how much work my dad's put into it, and and I think when you've competed at the level that both these two guys have, it's you're never going to lose that competitive uh, edge, and you are they are going to one's go, is going to want to do a little bit better than the other. So I think it probably will get a bit juicy at times, but. Um, just seeing how well uh, my dad's prepared and I'm sure Marco has as well, just really excited for it. You must be incredibly proud. Um, he's been very vocal about his mental health, very vocal um, about his struggles, etc. But look at the immense condition that your dad's in, the way he's put himself back on the right path, etc. You must be extremely proud, mate. Yeah, I am. He's uh, in such a short space of time as well. I think if you'd, if you'd have looked at him... 12 months ago you'd have never thought he'd be he'd be uh, he'd be getting in the shape he is now and and getting back in the ring uh, obviously exhibition but it's still a massive achievement and, he, and he's done really well just physically mentally come a, such a long way and uh, even, even like looking at him on the bags on the pads and sharing rounds inspiring with him he's looking really uh, look really well in the ring so yeah really proud 
Yeah, and some of the old footage in terms of Ricky, I watched that Sky Sports documentary, the Mayweather one, and it's great to see you there as well, a young Campbell Hatton, part of the broadcast. It must give you, I don't know if you even recall any memories of that Mayweather trip. Do you have any memories at all? Not really, no, uh, but what, I've watched it all back, all the, the, like the old 24-7 videos, and what, I've watched probably my dad's whole career, what, like, watching it back and... Uh, because even obviously, even though it is my dad, I'm I am a, I'm a massive boxing fan, and he's one of my favourite fighters to watch. So yeah, it is uh, is exciting because it's like rolling back the years because I missed it the first time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was you know this was where we saw thousands of British fans going over to Vegas to watch watch Ricky fight Mayweather, Pacquiao, and you know is that the type of atmosphere you're expecting on Saturday night? I mean, we can see behind you the band already getting. Uh, they may be playing today at some some time, but we can st just anticipate how many fans are coming on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a great atmosphere as it always is when uh, when my dad used to box and. Um, I think on the whole it's a good night of boxing. Uh, Brad Ray's on there, Fraser Clark, two 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 guys who I think are top fighters and, and, and good lads. So looking forward to watching them and and obviously my dad as well. I mean you're already emulating your dad's body work. I mean that body shot again um, was incredible on, on on Saturday night. But look, the one you said was a fluke. That one. Oh, I forgot about that. Hang on, let me watch it back. No. <laughs> yeah, look. There is speculation um, out there in Dubai, Mayweather is fighting Deji. Um, Friday, I went to the press conference to hear what Mayweather had to say, and he mentioned your dad. Um, there is speculation, rumours. He wants to come to the UK to fight in the UK, Mayweather. So is there any chance we could see a trilogy, a second fight between him and your dad? Not sure. You can't look past this one. and It's... Um Obviously, just got to see how this one goes and see how my dad feels about it. He might might finish this one and, and think that's enough. Or you, you never know. But no matter what he does, he's uh, he, I'm, re I'm really proud of how far he's come. So let's just see. Would you like to see him in there with Mayweather? I don't know. Let's again. You've just got to base it on on what what we see this weekend and. Uh, Obviously, it'll still be a massive interest in that type of fight. And uh, like I saw uh, Conor McGregor's name as well. Like, there's lo loads of speculation going around. So let's just get this one out of the way and then we'll see. So you can't confirm or deny any speculation or any talks going on at the moment with that fight? No, nothing, nothing. I, I know uh, I know, my dad won't be looking past Marco because that's a, that's a big, t big challenge in itself.